Hello, and this is my review for Men in Black 3. As you can tell, it's not like my normal location. I'm actually sat in the kitchen at the moment, uh, and it's because uh, my other camera is still playing up, and so is my editing suite. So at the moment, it's all going to be on webcam. I uh, hope that's okay with everybody. Okay, uh, so Men in Black 3, I went to see it in 3D, uh, actually, and it was really, really good. Going back to the, how it all started, I, I really did enjoy Men in Black, the original, and Men in Black 2 wasn't quite as good for me, but Men in Black, the original, was really good. And what shocks me is every time I watch one of these films, or any film actually with Will Smith in, they seem, he seems to get better as an actor. Uh, and this is no different to that. He is absolutely stunning in it. He's, he's really, really good. They'll often see that, that you can actually see his natural progression. I mean, you know, it, back in the day, you used to be able to see him in DJ Jazz Jeff and the Fresh Prince and, you know, all that stuff. And he was kind of, yeah, yeah a bit bullish with the acting, but he's getting really, really good at it. And he's so funny. He, he's really, really good. I, I'm a big fan, actually. And this film has really galvanised that for me. So, cinematography is pretty amazing. Uh, I mean, it's completely over the top. As I said already, I've watched this in 3D. And in 3D, it was very fun to watch. It was quite entertaining, quite funny, quite laughy. And it was, it was really good. It's probably definitely worth seeing in 3D if you can, because there's quite a lot of uh, monsters, etc. And they, they design it so that they come out and attack you. And, uh, and, you know, that's, that's quite an enjoyable thing. And it's not the best 3D film I've ever seen, but generally 3D films are kind of... Uh, the ones I tend to see anyway are more kind of uh, animation films. So this is slightly different to that anyway, because even though there are obviously CGI a a animated UFO kind of things in it, it is actually a proper film film. So it, they're always a bit strange to actually watch that kind of film in 3D anyway. But, saying that, it is pretty good. It is, the 3D does make a difference to it. If you can't afford 3D, obviously go and see it in 2D. It would make a difference so if you could see it in 3D, I think. Acting throughout, really good. I mean, beautiful. Actually, it, it's, it's obviously tongue-in-cheek and it's meant to be humorous. But... It, it's really well written as well, really well done, and that, and that gets on to the third point actually, that the script and the, the storyline is really, really good, it's cleverly done, and it kind of links in with everything else from all the other films, and what the really, really clever bit about it for me was, you don't have to have seen the other films to make this work, it is actually doable in its own right, you could just watch this, I think, and go, oh, okay, that's the Men in Black. As long as you kind of understood what the Men in Black were, then you'd actually understand the whole film. There are little links back to other things if you actually are in the know, but it is really good. And the storyline is really, really great, I thought. And it links in all the old storylines as well, but as I said, quite cleverly. So if you didn't see the other two, then it's not the end of the world. But it probably wouldn't be a bad thing to see them. I actually got upset in this film. I actually got upset whilst I sat in the cinema, which is quite a rare thing for me. And it, it was very heartwarming, very beautifully done, really, really well crafted. Especially for a big, big, big Hollywood film which has been pumped out for a long, long time. So I'm going to give this film 4 out of 5, yeah, 4 out of 5. I really highly recommend this. I really enjoyed it. I love science fiction and it's great. It's a bit of humour, a bit of fun and I came out really, really laughing and enjoying it. I hope you enjoyed my review. Please don't forget to subscribe or rate and comment below. Thank you.